This is the DevOps mock interview day 63. We already completed 62 mock interviews. This is the 63rd mock interviews. So whoever watching this video on YouTube, if you want, you can check all these videos. Go to playlist section. There you can find DevOps interview question and answers. Yeah, hi Rani, can you please introduce yourself? And please like this video so that we will get motivation to upload more videos. Sure. Currently, I'm working as a cloud and DevOps engineer. I have around three years of experience in this domain. I have proficient knowledge and experience of different DevOps tool and technologies such as Git and GitHub as a version control system. Jenkins has a CI/CD tool to uh, streamline the uh, streamline the software development process, and uh, Docker as a containerized tool to containerize different applications and I have also deployed different containerized applications using Docker to a Kubernetes environment such as EKS and GKE. For infrastructure provisioning automation, I have used Terraform to create its infrastructure in the cloud environment such as AWS and GKE. Along with that, as a DevOps, DevSecOps practice, I have used uh, SonarCube and Trivi to scan and to scan container and code quality checks. Additionally, I have used monitoring tools such as Prometheus and Grafana to monitor and logging uh, applications. And additionally, I have also exposure and a proficient knowledge in the cloud technologies such as AWS and GKE. And I, I have used different services of cloud technology such as EC2, VPC storage, S3, and Lambda function, and uh, that's all for my side. Thank you. Yeah, Rani. Like, do you have a script or not for you know, introduce yourself? No, I don't have a script. Okay, did I provide it or not? Oh, you can provide, or I can improve in that also. Okay. Yeah, you need to improve it. Okay, your introduction is not good. It's okay, okay. Sure. So, yeah, uh, Anseti, can you please introduce yourself? Um, I'm Anseti. I have five years of experience of uh, in DevOps. I have specialized in CI CD pipelines using Git, Jenkins, and Maven. And I have strong skills in Docker and Kubernetes for orchestration. I'm proficient in infrastructure as a code with Tedoform and use Ansible for automation. Additional, I'm implemented security practices with uh, SonarCube. And uh, coming to monitoring part, uh, Prometheus and Grafana. My experience allows to me drive efficient and reliable DevOps practices in any dynamic environment. That's about myself. Yeah, still uh, same feedback for you as well. Okay. So yeah, whoever watching this video on YouTube, if you are looking for real time training, definitely you can ping me in WhatsApp. Next month, uh, we are going to start a new batch in DevOps. Okay, uh, that is on December 2nd onwards, we are going to start. So we are going to start from Git, Jenkins, Terraform, Ansible, Docker and Kubernetes. Then we will discuss about real time projects. Okay. So DevOps, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you so much, sir, for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is DevOps, and I have a five years of experience in the field. Currently, I'm working with uh, TCS, where I have been a DevOps engineer for the last three years. I have worked extensively with the various tools, including Git for a version control, and I have a hands-on experience with the continuous integration through Jenkins. We follow Agile methodologies, uh, and we track all in the Jira. Expect for us some additional tasks uh, that comes in the production. 
I manage the configuration of a multiple instances using Terraform and handle application deployment in a container uh, for uh, Kubernetes. My skills are, uh, also include a containerization with a Docker. And we use multiple monitoring tools like a Grafana and a, a Prometheus uh, for uh, checking the logs. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So just a moment. Give me some. Yeah, Raghava, can you please introduce yourself? I'm audible, right? Yes, you're audible. Okay, okay. Yeah, please go ahead. Hi, it's Raghava. I have more than now. Uh, 11 years of experience in uh, DevOps and cloud in, uh, 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 cloud engineering. So I started um, coming to myself. I've started with the Linux admin and um, uh, where I've uh, worked on uh, uh, virtualization uh, on uh, VMs and uh, later I, st I moved to build and release engineer. Then I uh, transited, uh, I mean, I tr transited to cloud engineer uh, where I work with uh, um, um, multiple cloud uh, environments using uh, uh, AWS and Azure. Um, now, currently, I'm a DevOps engineer. Uh, my day-to-day -day tasks, uh, which involves in um, designing, uh, designing, creating, and managing CI/CD pipelines, automation of CI/CD pipelines, use, uh, using various tools like Jenkins, um, GitHub Actions, and uh, uh, GitHub Actions. Um, so uh, mainly, we um, uh, use using a Git. Uh, we try to uh, we try to automate the things uh, as per the as per the as soon as as per the commits from the uh, from the developers to the application. Uh, my build pipelines, which includes uh, integration with uh, build test, uh, build test, uh, build and test. So where we have uh, where we have the uh, build and uh, build and which our uh, build is stored in uh, artifactories. From there. Uh, uh, we test and then uh, using a Docker a Docker build, we uh, we build the, uh, the we build the um, Docker images and which we store into a, a repository form and uh, configured it using uh, configuration management tools like Ansible for automation uh, and all Ansible Ansible Tower. Apart from that, we also take care of. Uh, um, I also take care of um, um, uh, mo op, um, monitor monitoring and. Uh, um, observability tools like uh, uh, Prometheus and Grafana, and also like um, uh, for logging and monitoring. So this is uh, this uh, this what I um, go through on day to day basis. Yeah, Raghav, like your introduction was too much long, so no one was interested, right? For this too much of long introduction, you can keep it simple and short. Okay, so then other like the interviewer will not get bored. Okay, they will take interview to just check your communication and the technical part. Okay, so keep it two to three minutes, not more than that. Okay. Okay. Okay, like uh, everyone completed your introduction part or DevOps? Did you complete it? I yes, I missed. Right. Yeah, I completed it. Oh, okay. Then shall we start the mock? Yes. Okay, just a moment. I will attach my adapter. So. And simultaneously, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, can you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay, explain the purpose of Git Stash with an example. Uh, git stash is used for a drop the um, dropping the remove the file sir 
Oh, sorry, come again. Git stash is used for uh, drop the single stash entry. Uh, we can remove the stages. Whatever the stages we have, right? You will remove the stages. Okay, how many stages we have? Hmm? Like how many stages we have? Uh, fraud, um, uh, de uh, development, QA. Okay, you will remove the stages by using git stash. So if, if if anyone want to add something, definitely go ahead and answer the question. Uh, using git stash, we Just can... Give me a moment. Yeah, hi, sorry guys. So they are discussing uh, about the tickets. Actually, we will get uh, daily tickets, okay? So depending upon the tickets, we need to work. Now, so my MG is telling that uh, at least try to close 50 tickets per month. Okay, we hardly get max to max 10 cases per month. Okay, and he is expecting 50. So yeah, I'm just uh, getting some dialogue. So and it's it's viral right nowadays. Asha ki adundali something Telugu word is there. I don't want to uh, speak it out. So he is a reviewer. So he has become famous with the dialogue. So I got that into my mind. Okay. So yeah. So can you able to add something? What is git stash? So git stash uh, will remove all the un, uh, uncommitted changes from the local repository. Okay, what is the purpose of git stash? Uh, using git stash, uh, we can uh, get the uh, branches in sync so that all the commit, uh, uh, it, it won't be ahead of the uh, master branch. The, The developer branch or, or whatever other branches which won't be uh, master won't be prod so it won't be ahead of that so if you do a git stash in that particular branch okay you got too much of time right in between you can able to google it and you can check it at least what is git stash so you are totally wrong and devops also totally wrong so anisati and rani do you want to answer this question what is the purpose of git stash why will use this uh, we use git stash when we when we do a code changes but we don't want to commit it and uh, then we do git stash of that code changes so that we can uh, move to the checkout to the next branch and if we do some changes there then we can commit it without getting the previous commits notification there we don't need to commit the previous uh code changes which is into stas so it is good for like uh, you know, temporary code changes we don't want to commit it super super i have expected this answer you are right so raghava and devops you got it what is the purpose of git stash so devops is telling he they will remove the environment development and staging it, which is totally wrong and if you tell this the same in the interview they will laugh so did you got it what is git stash can you repeat it you can watch the recording again okay she already explained clearly now you are telling to repeat it again so whenever she explained it you need to Listen. Mm. Yeah, Rani, how do you apply stash changes? 
we can use git stash apply command super you are right so stash is nothing but i will explain the stash once we complete the questions okay ragava let's complete this questions then at the end we will re reveal the answers right at a time i will explain getting and i will show you practically as well what is the stash then you will get full clarity is it okay okay sometimes i will be harsh don't take it in no YouTube. nothing like that i YouTube wanted to YouTube summarize the answer yes, yes yes i just want you to keep concentration that's it oh, oh do you know what is uh, cherry pick like what does cherry pick will do git cherry pick so cherry pick uh, will be used in the type of uh, in the time of merge uh, any merge uh, conflicts so in using cherry pick we can uh, uh, pick the uh, um, respective changes which we wanted to uh, uh, be come um, be pushed to that uh, uh, commit Uh, sorry, sorry for that. I didn't get you. Yeah, when we do a merge, uh, when we do a uh, merge request, when we get a merge conflicts, we using cherry pick. Uh, cherry pick, we can uh, resolve the merge conflicts by using the uh, cherry pick of what changes need to be gone, and uh, uh, use a uh, use of cherry pick, we can uh, yeah uh, resolve the conflicts, and uh, we can only make sure that. those respective changes are uh, pushed to th to that commit okay you are totally wrong yeah whoever watching this video on youtube please like this video so that we will get motivation yeah devops can you able to explain what is uh, like what does git cherry pick do uh, git cherry pick uh, we can commit the uh, one branch to another branch without merging and uh, you uh, will commit the one branch to another branch without merging yes mm, no uh, i am not getting exactly uh, for example uh, if we have one um, uh, bug sir so if it is in a feature branch but we need to uh, merge into the main branch so that time we can use a cherry pick okay rani do you want to add something you are right but it's not clear Hmm. while doing the merging process if we don't want to suppose uh, don't want to add all the commits from the feature branch to main branch there we can use a cherry cherry pick command git cherry pick and the commit id uh, that commit id would only uh, merge to the main branch super so like this you need to clearly answer the question so that opposite person will get clarity devops you got it she yes, explained sir. me clearly but you said you to, you said that you will do commit without merging so will it feasible will it understand no so you need to tell in real life manner so how rani said you need to explain what is the purpose how you will do then only opposite person will impressed in the real interview getting okay how can you view difference between two branches anisetty how can you view the difference between two branches running not sure but we can use maybe a get diff command yes you are right devops Um, sorry sorry no. rani you are wrong devops you you tell no, me no sir okay ragwa check diff sorry check diff check diff or uh, you wanted to uh, i mean uh push uh, the um uh, raise a uh, pr from one branch to other and we can see the uh, con uh, differences uh rani you are right so i just want to confuse them but 
they got successfully confused you are right we can use git diff to see the difference between two branches sure. okay what is the use of git rebase Oh, uh, git rebase is the git rebase will would be used for the merging of code changes from one branch to another branch, but it uh, it will not create a merge commit there, and will take all the commit history uh, commit history of feature branch. It is used. Uh, the purpose of Git rebase and Git merge is same, but while we use uh, Git rebase, it will generate a cleaner history with no merge commit. That's no, all. no, you are totally wrong. Anyone want to add? Raghava, Anisati, DevOps. So if you want to ask me this question again, I will ask you the question again. What is the use of Git rebase? But Rani this time totally failed. Now I want you to win this right opportunity and answer me the question. What is the use of Git rebase? Yeah, whoever watching this video tomorrow, not tomorrow, that is upcoming month. We are starting a new batch in DevOps. So whatever the questions I'm asking, everything I will show practically. Okay. So don't miss the chance. Enroll. Or if you already completed your training, you are attending for interviews. So share this video with your friends so that they can get an opportunity to learn DevOps with real time. This time I'm planning nearly 10 plus projects on DevOps. And I will show all things practically and you will get a mock interview as a compliment. Until you get a job, you can attend the mock interviews and you can learn from me. Okay. So Git rebase will change the base branch where you wanted to commit from. Okay. DevOps. So in between, I've given you too much of time, right? Just answer it. If not, I will start promoting myself. Okay. So as I said, next month I'm starting until you don't answer. I will promote my my trainings. OK, next month, as I said, on December 2nd, we are starting a new batch in DevOps. So class timing will be morning 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. IST. That is Indian time. OK. From morning 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. IST daily one hour. Monday to Friday, we will be having classes. Saturday and Sunday, you will be having a holiday. For me, it is an holiday. For you, it, it will not have a holiday. Whatever you discuss in the five classes, you need to practice it on weekend. Okay. So if you are available, no issues. Practice daily. Okay. With if, if you don't practice, you will not get it. And coming to some people will get confused. Only we will discuss about DevOps. What about cloud? Now we will discuss about AWS cloud as well. Okay. Yeah, DevOps. Can you please explain me what is the use of Git rebase? Uh, uh, so uh, Git rebase, uh, we can use the multiple small commits in the you know, branch uh, into the before merging, and we can clean the commit history. Okay, Anshati. Yeah, Git. Rebase means uh, integrated changes from one branch to on another branch. That's it. Uh, yeah. It will yeah. make yeah. the branch powerful history rewrites on future. It will create the branches. I mean, uh, I mean, create, clear the merge request and uh, make the both the branches in sync. Okay, Rani, whatever you said, right, it was absolutely correct. You have explained very well, and I I was 
impressed with your answer okay you have mentioned it will maintain the clean history and uh, you have mentioned they it will not create a extra commit it was perfect super i have done sure. intentionally that you are completely wrong uh, to just test other people whether they are interested and whether they have concentration on the answers which you are delivering i just want to check at least by listening whatever you said i have expected that they will at least try to answer but everyone even they didn't used google to find out so even if they google it right whatever you said exact the same google will give it okay so yeah if you are missed just check out this recording once i update in our youtube channel right then you will get it what rani said just check it out note keep a note and explain the same in the real interview and yeah please like this video whoever watching this video on youtube right we will get motivation to upload more videos and to conduct more mock interviews if we don't get likes right we would, we will not get any motivation it is free of cost right please like the video okay how do you link a local repository to a remote repository git clone okay so on git push origin you are right ragava rani how do you link a local mm-hmm. repository to remote repository we need to get a copy of a remote repository using git clone and if we are using a github as a remote repository then we need to configure a github account in our local repository okay i don't want a remote repository i want to link a local repository to a remote repository no i don't want to get the changes from remote repository to local repository so ragwa you are wrong from remote git repository if I, if i want to get the changes so obviously i will use git clone but here the question was different git push uh, origin before to pushing the... before pushing the code you need to link right that's what i am asking before pushing the code you need to link the repository of local repository to remote then only you can able to push okay devops rani or on city uh we need to add git add command and also we need to configure remote repository there yeah on what local. is the command to configure remote repository in the local you are right rani but i want a command uh, we use git configure command then we put a username and get token it is for local get tokens i want to attach right local to remote okay so get remote add right get, uh, yes then get remote we'll add the and URL the url of, the remote. of yes. the remote okay how do you push changes to remote repository now ragu you, you get said push that answer you, yeah get question. push and uh, we can uh, put the remote uh, uh, repository branch link and uh, uh, we mm. can uh, put, no you are yeah. wrong git push origin uh, git push origin and uh, the put, put the the branch name uh, yes you are right we no need to keep any url and all when we configure it right link it then only we will give it the url once it is linked no need to give the url and all directly give the branch name okay rani am i right yes git push origin and branch name yes devops and ansetty do you want to add something no sir that same yeah, same, same only 
so i know same but you can repeat the same right the command so that you will get you will it will be added to your brain memory so if you tell me the same in the interview also you will go and tell yeah it is same so you should not mention yeah get that push or same. thing yeah whenever i ask you you right uh, yeah put to push the changes to remote remote repository as rani mentioned yes we will use git push origin and the branch name you should not mention that it's it is same it is same it is not a professional <laughs> okay yeah anesthety <laughs> you are laughing hope uh, you got my point yes yes i got okay don't laugh in the real interviews okay okay explain uh, git pull with an example you yeah, answer this question and set by laughing we will get some entertainment yeah let's give and set a chance please and set let he was entertainment by laughing your laughing was very good explain git pull with an example in your laughing style okay rani go ahead i think anshiti mm. was busy we use git yes. pull command to get the remote changes in our local repository when we do git pull uh, local changes will uh, will get into our local repository and the working directory itself yeah simply the git pull yes yeah that's all okay raghava do you agree with rani what she mentioned can you able to explain me yeah simply git pull uh, we can just do git pull and we can get all the changes from the remo- uh, from the I mean, uh, from the remote to local. Okay. Before we commit, be, before we push, we try it. We pull and push. Okay. Then what is Git fetch? Git pull will get the uh, changes. Then what will Git fetch will do? Fetch is similar Git to the fetch. pull. Don't don't uh, reveal on Rani. Let's them participate. I know you are expert. Let them answer. uh pull is similar to the fetch but fetch only um 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 fetch fetch will um get the changes uh, mm, and said team can you please try yeah fetch means is a download content uh, from the remote repository okay it will download a which movie do, it will download <laughs> i mean content <laughs> i mean uh, what information on repository which content is it a piracy content no no not piracy <laughs> so whatever the code uh, written by the developer right if we want to get that yes, at that yes. time we will use git fetch we can use git pull and git fetch both as well yeah, sorry don't take uh, i'm just uh, take it as a joke okay anxiety uh, don't uh, take in uh, take it in a bad manner uh, no 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 oh, okay yeah so okay raghava can you please explain me the difference between this uh, pull and fetch you can google pull, it or in between yeah, devops if pull. you want you can able to add it yeah pull will merge the changes from the remote to the local but uh, but fetch will not merge the changes from the remote to the local super yes you are right Now, last question of the day how can you remove a remote repository then after i will show you the answers for all and let's do practically as well is it okay or you, if you if you are busy then i will stop 
no no continue okay okay if anyone want to drop right okay you can drop it you can watch the recording right once if you are free then please go ahead and continue how can you remove your remote repository so i think uh, all are not answering so let's give this question to the god or what try at least how can you remove uh, nothing we can but use get remote, remote. so we can use a command git remote remove origin or git remote remove and the remote name origin name okay we can use git rm i think Remote. Okay, shall we check the answers? Sure. Okay. Explain the purpose of git stash with an example. So git stash saves your uncommitted changes temporarily. So whatever Rani mentioned, allowing you to switch branches without committing them. For example, git stash, right? Like that. so i will go to my december repository okay i will go to my elastic search whichever uh, in the next last mock we have worked right okay okay to check the branches what is the command Yesterday we already discussed. Do you know? Get branch. Yes. So how many branches we have? Three. Okay. In which branch right now I am present? December. Oh super! No, I think we are in November, right? you can check the date it's november 12th no, no. but uh, it's, it's a branch yeah branch our branch name, name is december yes it's a star on the december yes star indicates that our current branch okay yes so if i want to move to another branch i want to move to devops cc branch how yeah git check out Super. You are right. If and B and branch name. No. So, Anishti, Raghav said Git check out if and B and branch name. So, is it correct? If it is correct, what it will do? Yeah, it's creating new branch name. I think. Yes, you are right. what happened just a moment so git branch git check out so your local changes following file would be overwritten by check out please commit your changes or stash them before you switch branches aborting so if i enter git stash status right there are some changes which is not committed now i want to move to another branch so without committing this it will not allow me to change from one branch to another branch okay getting uh, it is in working tree i need to add it to staging area then after i need to commit it okay use git add or git commit okay but i want to move to another branch because my man manager said that hey there is some critical requirement on the devops cc branch immediately move to this branch whatever changes you have done don't leave it i don't want right now okay so at that time what we can do rani we can use git stash right I don't know why it is taking too much of time. Okay. 
Okay, I think this is 1 GB of branch, right? I think it did touch the reason. So now if I enter git status, yes, nothing to commit working tree clean or not? Yes. So that is the use of git stash. Now I can move to another branch. Git checkout. DevOps easy. Yes, did I switch to DevOps easy branch? Now my work was done. Okay, now I will again move to December branch. Manager said it's done. We come back. Now I switched. So now next question. How do you apply the stash changes? Use git stash apply to apply the most recent stash or git stash apply stash number to apply a specific stash. To check the stash, how many stashes are that? How do you can check? Rani, do you know? So git stash list, right? Yes, there is only one stash. So you can do multiple stashes. Okay. First stash will get zero. You can add some changes. Okay. Again, if you want to add that changes to stash list, definitely you can add. Getting. If you compare with real life example, like for suppose right now I'm watching some movie. Okay. Suddenly mom said, go out and bring me a milk packet. What I will do? I will pause that movie. I will go out, right? I will bring the milk packet. Okay, I will give it to her. And I will come back and I will continue watching that movie. Yes or no? Am I right, DevOps? Yes. Exactly, sir. Yeah. So because I, I am good and innocent, so I will listen to my mom words. Of course, you will not going outside yet. You will continue your watching movie and you will say, hey, I will not drink. Give me some time. After some time, I will bring the milk packet and all. Right, DevOps? Am I right? Or you will bring? I will bring, sir. If my, my mom said anything, I need to work on that. Oh, super. So you got it. What is stash, right? Ragwa, DevOps, Rani. And Rani, you know, you, you are expert. But yeah, Anisati and DevOps. Yeah, Ragwa left. Yes, sir. I okay, you got it, right, DevOps? Same like pausing a movie. If you want to pause a work in between, definitely. Yes. So now get stash apply, then you will get back to previous state, okay? If I enter git status, what is the status now? So I will just do some jokes, okay? It will be like an entertainment. Okay? Yes. Excellent. Don't take it in negative way. Okay. Nothing is there. Now I will git stash apply. Right now I, I got to the state right now I will apply git stash list. I will check. Okay. Still stash list is available. Okay. We even though if I enter git stash apply, I can able to see the stash list. Okay. There is one more command git stash pop. If you will do pop what it will do. It will remove them from the stash list as well. That is the git stash pop will do. Now there is nothing is there in the stash. That's the reason it is showing an error. Okay. Now let me do it once, once again. Okay. Git stash. Up, uh, git stash. That's it, right? Git stash. If you want to stash the changes, git stash. In the place of git stash apply, right? Let me first status. Let me use status. Nothing is there. Okay, git stash apply. I will give pop. In rather than apply, I will use pop. What pop will do? Right? 
it will remove the from the drop it from the stash list as well if i enter git stash list okay let me do git stash list git status again git stash okay git stash list okay now i added it as a stash now i will use git stash pop now get stash list yes stash one was removed or not if you use git stash pop it will be dropped from your stash list as well okay if you use git stash apply it will be get back to your previous state but it will not remove from your stash list okay if you compare with real life example okay mom was caught me right i've just stolen some item from me like i just stolen a chocolate from my refrigerator okay whenever i stole a chocolate from a refrigerator what mom will do mom will just open a notebook and she will write it so whenever father comes right she will just open that notebook and she will show to my father hey he has stolen this item then father will beat me okay getting so in the same way whenever you execute git stash apply what are the stashes you have done it will be noted down and it will give you as a list that is the git stash apply if you use pop what mom will do mom will not going to note down even though if she note down in the book whenever dad will come she will erase it so that dad cannot able to find out whether i did the mistake or not so that that what git stash pop will do you will get back the changes to normal state right and the stash will be dropped nothing but from the history it will be removed from the stash list history it will be removed getting my point did you understood yes rani and sati is it clear yes okay so what does git cherry pick do git cherry pick applies the changes from a specific commit onto a current branch it's useful when you need a single change without merging the entire branch okay like for suppose i will just add this git add dot git commit minus m added for learning cherry pick okay git log okay i will use git log if and if on one line okay if you see now i will go git check out devops easy okay now i will enter git log if from one line okay testing merge conflict okay i want only this commit okay sorry this let me yeah conflict performed only this commit whenever i merge right what it will do it will add this commit and this commit both together at a time if i use git merge if there are one more commits few more commits definitely it will add that commits as well but rather than adding multiple changes i want only a single 
commit change from one branch to another branch then you can use a git cherry pick okay what i can do then git cherry pick and the commit id that only particular commit sorry typo only that particular commit only you will get not all commits okay it's a merge so merge it commit you cannot able to get it okay let me add this latest commit itself okay The previous cherry pick is now empty, possible due to conflict resolution. If you wish to commit it anyway, use West, please use good cherry pick. Skip. Oh, so previous was not completed. previously it got stopped in between okay that's the reason it is telling you to complete if you see it is cherry picking right getting or you can use abort or skip now i will use Sorry, I need to add this commit, right? Copy. Okay, I'm, I've added a wrong commit ID. So I will abort it. Hey, please don't consider that. Now cherry pick again this commit. git commit lomt okay now i will enter git log so it is telling that uh, there is nothing in that it is a empty commit like that it's showing right that commit by id was added or not yes so like that if you want to get from one commit to another commit you will use the previous cherry pick is now empty possibly due to conflict resolution if you want to wish to continue anyway okay, normally you will not get this issue okay whenever you do commit uh, if you do cherry pick if you want to get one commit from uh, from one branch to another branch like for suppose you have done four this many commits okay now you have moved and you are working on another branch okay in that another another branch you want only this commit not all these commits you want only this particular change at that time you can use git cherry pick and the commit id only this particular commit changes will be get it added to your right on that particular branch understood or not getting yes super you understood the concept right what is the cherry pick git cherry pick commit ready applies the changes from a specific commit onto the current branch it's useful when you need a single change without merging the entire branch how can you view difference between two branches you will use git diff branch 1 and branch 2 git diff devops is and december I will use git diff devops easy and main right yes there is nothing difference in devops easy and December <laughs> both are same that's the reason we didn't get anything okay main and devops is there is change right what change I have added a merge example.txt file yes or no 
merge.example.txtv was added okay where in my devops is a branch so like that you can compare the branches difference okay what is the content i've added this is from devops is a branch testing was performed to learn about merge conflict yes because i we already merged these two branches yes or no in the last session devops is in december branch got merged so if it is merged both branches will don't have any changes yes or no there is no difference so if you there is no difference what you will get you will get an empty output if there is a difference what is the difference what the file you have added what the content you have added in that file it will be displayed getting okay i am shouting at least try to answer yes 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 okay i don't know you are understanding or not if you don't answer i will not get so what is the use of git rebase git rebase is used, used to move or combine a series of commits to a new base commit this is useful for maintaining a clean commit history okay this this is a too much long concept right you know what it is it will just give the commit history whenever uh, you in the place of merge we can use git rebase it will give you, you the clean history of changes okay and you will not get any extra commit as well as rani mentioned so yeah if you don't if you want clear understanding next uh, month we are starting git right just enroll for devops training we are watching this on youtube if you want clear understanding on git okay join uh, real time training from next month you will get all these things in the mock itself we are discussing this much uh, in real in real classes you will get more than this okay how do you link a local repository to a remote repository you will use git remote add origin and the url yes or no that is a command how do you push changes to remote rep repository git push origin and the branch name okay what are the changes present like for suppose there are present ls so i want to change this changes then what i can do git push origin and the branch name okay then it will what are the changes present in my local system it will be pushed now if i enter it will fail because first i need to link it right first i need to use git remote add origin and the repository url can i able to add the elastic search url no elastic search repository was someone else okay i can add my own repository so explain git pull with an example git pull fetches the change, merge changes from the remote repository into your current branch for example git pull origin main updates the local main branch with the latest remote changes so what is git fetch will do git fetch retrieves updates from a remote repository without merging them into a local branch allowing you to review changes before merging yes if i show you the git pull versus git fetch open image in new tab if you do git pull what are the changes present in your remote repository that changes will be directly added to your working directory this is your change git pull but if you use git fetch your changes will not be added to your working directory it will be stored separately if you want get changes from local it will go and sit in the local repository okay if you want it you need to do one extra command git merge so git fetch plus git merge is equal to git pull okay here you need to do two ways here there is a direct direct path okay i can go from my 
home to write my office directly in one way or i can go in two ways it's right it depends upon my requirement okay now what developer will do developer don't want the changes present in the remote repository in their local working directory at that time what they will do they will just use git fetch okay they will work on their project once they have completed then they will do one more extra command which is git merge then it will be get added latest changes along with their new changes okay that for that purpose we will use this fetch how can you remove your remote repository git remote remove so i told you right and the remote name okay to unlink the local repository from a remote for example git re remote remove origin got it clear yes 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 okay that's it for today do you have anything so yeah whoever watching this video on youtube if you are watching until now so you have too much of dedication definitely i hope you will crack a job very soon if you are struggling to get a job next week we are starting a real time project so not only i teach devops training i teach real time projects only real time projects training as well if you want only real time projects also you can ping me just enroll for real time projects and for mock interviews don't take total training if you want only project also i will provide it with very minimal charges you can ping me in whatsapp to get the details okay yeah that's it let's meet again in the next mock interview okay thank you thank you, yeah. thank you.